All right, you ready for a fun little adventure this evening? We're gonna do something a little bit different. Well, not really different, but different for me. This is an old barn that was built probably back in the 1800s. And we're up in Maine, coastal Maine. Beautiful up here, absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna take a little walk through this barn because I peeked through the door there a little bit and walked around just a little bit. And there's some interesting things in there. And this is very different than the barns than the barns uh, in my area. So let's take a quick peek, what do you say? The first thing you'll notice is the very wide boards and the nails sticking up everywhere. <laughs> a lot of square nails in there. So you gotta always be careful about nails when you're walking around old buildings like this. These are called shakes or shingles. This is what the whole barn would be covered with and the roof would have been covered with. You know, this is old school stuff. They're, re they're really thin. How thin they are because it has been weather worn over the last hundred and hundred and fifty years or so. Look at beautiful little <laughs> nail right there. I don't want to really want to pull it out of there, but that looks like a specially designed nail, doesn't it? Anyway, let's take a look, a uh, quick peek inside. Now, it's obviously was higher at one time, but the barn is collapsing, unfortunately. Uh, but we, I think we can walk around in here a little bit crouch around in here a little bit as long as we don't touch the walls or ceiling or breathe too hard because this thing is like just about ready to collapse like a newfangled mouse trap or chig trap so just don't touch anything first thing I noticed is these neat rings right here don't touch anything start grabbing stuff these neat rings right here that's really cool in it and uh pegs and all kinds of neat relics in there beautiful oh look this oh yeah yeah let me show you this it's 1984 and over here somewhere the owner was just showing me the owner carl who you'll see in another video oh here it is another video uh he's metal detecting right now over by the house this is some kind of old writing this is some pencil so it's amazing as you can still read it august 16th 1906 maybe or 66 red cow may 27th 1892 that's the Black Heifer, 1907. This guy's name, September of uh, 1897. And just a quick story about this barn. Uh, back in like late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, the farmer who owned this uh, got gored by a bull when he was in here. And uh, I guess it hurt him really bad and they took him over to the house, the old house right there, and he died in the bedroom several days later. That must be a horrible death to be gored by a bull. So. So, I keep saying so, kind of been a little uh, inside joke. Anyway, let's go look around a little bit. These, that would have been uh, where they would put hay in so the cows could eat, cows and horses and stuff. I'm not gonna go any further back there, but I'm gonna try to get into the other side. Ooh, upstairs. Look at all the uh, barn swallow nests. Barn swallows, naturally love barns. And they're really good to have around because they eat insects and they're always flying around eating insects in the summertime. It's really pretty. I love, I love barn swallows. Yeah, it's really rough shape, but boy, there's some beautiful big beams. There's a watering bit right there for a horse and a horseshoe and a nice piece of some type of tack there. A lot of big pulleys. You can see big pulleys up here. So that would have been like the, the hoist up hay, move it around and uh would have been up on top of this level here which naturally was higher yeah let's go around the other side and see what we can see i think we can be okay going in there <laughs> i wonder why they had the uh oh maybe the animals kept breaking it out the window how about the screen on there watch your step that's all bowed out in it I think his barn is beyond saving, but try for nails in here. I'm gonna try to get in here without uh, touching any wood supports. Uh, the owner there is, um, he's been in here. He hasn't uh, lived here very long. He actually just moved in not too long ago, but it's the same family that's owned this for a long time. These little feed troughs, I love those things, huh? Look at these tackle, block and tackle. Beautiful big uh, feed box, leather straps. Find these out in the fields a lot. Those are springs for like hay rakes and things. Old time lantern, flashlight. It's 
Stewart, Cherryfield, Maine. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Hey, Bobby. How you doing? That's his dog. That's Carl's dog. Yeah, here's a bit. This is a weight uh, for a scale. The way like uh, grains and stuff, bags of grain. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. This is a uh, part of, you know, a horse, um, horse gear, but it's got a nice rosette on it. That's purely, well, I don't know if it's purely decoration, but I think it is. Yeah, it's purely decoration. You find a lot of these in like the, the Civil War art, uh, camps and stuff. The uh, soldiers, well, not soldiers, but the uh, cavalrymen and artillery and stuff always had rosettes. And there's uh, another bit, a bit right there. There should be one of those on each side, but you may have lost one in the field. Might find that today. That's, this, that's where the uh, barn used to be, on top of that rock right there. It's over about a foot. Look at, look at this beam. Look at the big bow in that beam. Big bow. Big bad bow. Yeah, so that seems to be holding everything up. Look how it's crushed up into there. Jack, I'm not gonna go up there, don't worry. Beautiful beams, wow, look at that. I can see those little mud, uh, mud nests up there. There's one there and a whole bunch there. Some more here. Those, like, those are those uh, barn swallows I was telling you about. I'm not sure what that is. It looks almost like it goes to a boat. Whee, <laughs> wood. Careful. Wow, gotta be careful over here. That's another uh, horse bit shoe. Thought that might be brass, but it's just iron. Find these a lot around houses. That's where you, you know, tar paper shacks and stuff would have those. Big wash. Okay, I'm gonna try to get in here without touching too much. This is a death trap. This is worse than caving. I know you guys always tell me I shouldn't, you know, you freak out when I'm in caves, but this is absolutely more dangerous than any cave I have ever been in. Well, most caves I've been in. Beautiful little door. Meth heads haven't been here to strip the barn of copper. Oh, that's more uh, writing. Look. In white. That looks old right there. Look how wide that board is. Yeah, we won't go over there. Poop. Oh, that was the sheep, I guess. I don't know if there's a little nest up here of some sort. Yeah, you know what? I think we probably should get out of here. If it uh, get a little gust of wind might be the last of us we'll go out the way we came in and hold our breath the whole time <laughs> that's too bad there's not like any old bottles or anything like tucked away that's a nice thick board look in here Let's see if there's any dead not, not much in there. Beautiful, nice, big old um, storage area, though, and the storage box. Does that say? Same thing. I guess those are cranberry boxes, or well, blue, maybe blueberry, because they do blueberries up here. My uh, my relatives, uncles, and well, I guess it's their kids now, and uh, cousins, they all have blueberry cranberry box up front, East Freetown. That's where some of my people are from. That's where it's P W P what P P N W N O V K. Looks like 91 O D. I don't know. I thought it was a date, but I'm not so sure now. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little barn exploration. I know it was a short video, but um, you know, I value my life, and I think we ought to get out of here <laughs> without touching anything. Okay. We'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy it. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep.
She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets. She's promised to keep hidden.